All right, let's get into what is money. Well, if you're in a perpetual bankruptcy, as I said time and time again, then everything would be discharged and everything would be written off. Well, for an example here, a lot of people believe uh, some half-truths, mostly no-truths. This is one of the, I would say, no to half-truths that people know is that they can only get some of their business expenses back if there's a business. Well, you're in a perpetual bankruptcy. If you claim it as abandoned property, since you're spending all of this as a person would be spending regular money, which there is no money, then you would be with a credit because all of these would be your credits. All of these. I mean, literally, this is like, what, 20 years, maybe 15 years, maybe 10 years in receipts, maybe 12 years, and uh, maybe about 100 grand right here in credit. So what you do is you take the 1099A, don't photocopy it unless you want to go to prison because it's considered income. You don't want to photocopy income. And then take your 1099A and you want to claim it all as abandoned property. I mean, every goddamn dime. And that's how the rich get richer. Because if you got 100000 in receipts and you're getting it all back and you make 100000 next year, that's 200000 I mean, here's some fractional banking that's going to blow your fucking mind. How about this? Paul and Peter. Say you're good friends or partners or whatever the fuck your business. You gave this dude $10,000. He gave you a receipt for 10000 You go get it back at the end of the year with the 1099A. You got 10000 He goes and gets his back. You guys just made 20000 Do it again, you're going to make 40000 This is fractional banking. 1099A. Stay awake.